I know this isn't like me. Got a Boris Coat, baby. Official like a referee with a whistle. And we're gonna check her out before we start it. All right, so we know that Yamaha's engines are painted after they're assembled. Look what I just found. This spark plug has the OEM paint. I to get these little spots or else I wish they come off, but that's from the jackass that got it in the fall and let a little bit of water come in. But yeah, all these bolts are painted. That bitch has overspray on it, same paint. Cylinders look great. From what I can see, it really won't end in there right. But. Looks like a mirror finish to me, boys. I don't think I've ever seen one of these clear and soft. Somebody threw some dark, nasty looking gas in there recently because it still smells good, but all the fuel lines are soft, straps are soft, and even discolored. Like the tank is still clear. This is clear. I mean, it's beautiful. Whoa. Look how pretty that tank is. And look at that shit that's in there. It's not thick, it's just gross. I got a oil bucket right here. All right, emptied out the tank because the guy I got it from in the scrapyard, uh, the guy that got it from the scrapyard poured some gas in it to try starting it, to, to test it, I guess, before taking it home. But there's another way you could tell that the ski has been ridden. The, the battery tray isn't even scuffed up from a vibrating battery or anything. Like it's all still so crisp and clear. It's crazy. All right, I got a gallon of fresh gas in it. I got a battery in it. I got the spark plugs cleaned and put back in there just in case. I poured a little gas down the throat, which I think it was some of the other tank. Whoopsie, I'm supposed to put that grape juice in there. Oh, here we go. Here goes nothing. Oh wait, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and prime it, pull a sample. Give her a little prime here. This is when I realized it was about to want to run away pretty damn easy. So I kept it filled with fuel so it couldn't lean out and run away. It wanted to try a little bit here and there, so that's what prompted me to pull the carburetor. Fuel, 
Probably have to pull the old carb off. Hey, I found why it was one act stupid. The old school kids did pull the carb. Left a washer under there, but no, they did not pull the engine apart for the 40th time. No more air leak, baby. Turn the idle up. All right, dude, we got her loaded in the back. About to give her a little degreasing. Spray her down with some degreaser on the inside, probably tip her on her side. Just spray it out with the hose. Like I said, these seals are all nice and soft. They're just full of dirt and stuff. Get her all cleaned up. I'm gonna go ride her on Saturday. Look at that. Look at that. That didn't even wipe off before. Oh, it's going to clean up so good. It's the only tear in the turf right there. Pretty that is. We've been in the water now, boys. That pad up there, please. See, she scratched up from being on the ground, but that's okay. You feel that love? You feel that love yet, darling? About to be on your maiden voyage, girl. If I could, I'd buy you a drink. Ooh. Damn. Okay. So I'm sipping on that lean something. Super light. That's a pretty super jet. There ain't a speck of nothing in there other than that little speck of rust around that, which was actually under the paint. I gotta uh, clean that up and that's it. And then... oh, that's before WD. Oh, dude, she's got a lot of hours on her, dude. Registration numbers equal ride time, bro. Gonna just, gonna just go ham in here. Get rid of all, we're gonna, 
water displaced this 40 times. She's getting ridden in a couple days. charter fishing we caught us a nice super jet she's got real pretty colors only in 94 95 you see these nice purple and pink colors she's a real nice real nice catch we're gonna go ahead and slowly release her back look at her go now you want to hold her for a second. Catch that swim off there. Yup. There she is. What a good release. Now she's been in the water before. All right, you good, darling. worked out. That slide worked out pretty well. Totally forgot to film an outro. So this is the next day. I let her sit outside with the old hood off and uh, 
re-WD-40 her down, let her let the moisture get out, put her back on her little skid with the floor mats. She did great. Uh, one thing I did not talk about in the video is the carb adjustments were off. I still kind of need to do some carb adjustments. But other than that, I did a little bit of tuning out there, and it literally runs like it's brand new. So yeah, we'll do some, uh, we'll pull some plugs, make sure it was burning right. And that's about it. Let us know what you want to see next. We will be going on a really cool vintage ride meetup with a few of us um, in Mississippi. So that's coming up next weekend. I'll probably get some footage of that. I actually picked up a GoPro um, that goes on my chest. So uh, on my, um, my wet jet life jacket. So I'm actually probably going to ride my super jet and the wife will be riding this one. Put about three and a half, four gallons through it. Runs like a sewing machine. All right. So the suspense was killing me. So I pulled the plug out real quick just to end this video off. Just trust me. It's right at dark chocolate, which means it needs to be leaned out of hair which is what i thought because it was a tiny bit lazy but again i mixed it fat i mixed it like knocking on a little bit fatter than 40 percent 40 to 1 so honestly that's a pretty good plug for uh 40 to 1 and it being fattened up so thanks for watching and the last video got a good bit of views, so I'm hoping some of y'all subscribe when you catch this video and watch some more videos. We'll be having a ton more videos this summer on that one, this one. I still have the fiberglass to do on this one. The jet trim's coming in this week. Got a bunch of shit coming. Thank you.